NetClay is a device that translates what you can do to what you want to do. NetClay is the first access method device that is affordable and customizable. Users with varying degrees of mobility are able to tailor inputs to their exact needs, allowing them to interact with their computers by plugging in one or more sensors or switches that they are able to manipulate. And by using open source software and inexpensive hardware, NetClay is available at an accessible price. From a single button to joysticks and gyros, users no longer have to consider their barriers. They can consider the possibilities. Please visit us at netclay.ca to explore the possibilities and start your journey with NetClay. NetClay needs a few things to work. Let's go over the basic components. You need a computer, the NetClay hub, at least one peripheral, and the appropriate software. Once the configuration software has been installed, the NetClay Hub can be configured. Plug in the NetClay Hub. There are a wide range of peripherals that can be plugged into NetClay. Peripherals made by NetClay are color-coded yellow and green to make it simple to connect them to the correct port. Please check your peripheral's color before plugging it into the appropriate input. To begin using NetClay, ensure the desired peripherals are securely connected to the hub and connect the hub to the computer using a USB cable. In case you run into any issues, make sure the cables are all firmly connected. Please refer to the NetClay user manual for more detailed troubleshooting support. This is a powerful system that provides many ways to interact with your computer. Please visit us at netclay.ca to see what is possible with NetClay. There are many peripherals that can interface with NetClay. Each peripheral can be programmed to operate on its own and perform key control functions, such as moving the cursor and clicking. Or, two or more peripherals can be connected at once to each perform a separate function. Choosing a solution depends on each user's unique needs. In this video, we will introduce peripherals that might fit the needs of most users. We will be highlighting a joystick and button combination. The joystick functions as a mouse, moving the cursor up, down, left, and right. Let's see this in action. When you move the joystick, the cursor moves. You can move it continuously in the direction you desire. You can pause briefly and tap the cursor to the desired location. When you let go, the NetClay hub will give a beep tone. This lets you know it is ready for another control function. Let's explore the next peripheral, a touch sensor. This touch sensor has been programmed to perform a mouse click. You activate it by pressing on it with one finger. When you let go, the sensor will be ready for the next input. You can activate a mouse click by touching the button briefly. Buttons and sensors can also be programmed to move the cursor. Finally, let's explore the gyro. When a gyro is attached to a headband or a hat, it allows a user to control a cursor by moving their head. By moving your head up, down, left, right, the cursor moves in that direction. To stop the cursor, move your head in the opposite direction. It can also be set up to perform left and right mouse clicks. In this setup, mouse clicks are being done with the touch sensor. This is just the beginning of what is possible with NetClay. If you're wondering how the standard peripherals can be customized, or if you're curious about what other devices can be connected, please visit netclay.ca. NetClay is a very customizable solution, and the input peripherals can be fine-tuned to meet individual users' needs. For a joystick, the tap speed can be adjusted to user preferences. A joystick can be configured to be a mouse with left and right clicks. When the joystick is set up as a mouse and NetClay gives a low beep, performing a quick tap down and release is a left click, and a quick tap right and release is a right click. With the touch sensor, a light box can be added to indicate the mode that the peripheral is functioning in. The light indicates which mode has been selected. With the gyro, the rate at which you need to turn your head to control the cursor or activate a mouse click can be customized for each user's comfort. Depending on the user's need, multiple peripherals can be attached to NetClay to expand the functionality and ease of use. The joystick can be modified with an accessory for users needing a different control surface. Depending on the user, different shapes and sizes of switches can be plugged directly into the hub. Commercially available switches, 
require an adapter before they can be plugged into the net clay hub. The splitter allows two peripherals to be connected into one connection. A mini touch sensor is also available. It operates with just a very light touch. The possibilities for what net clay can control in the future is only growing. This represents just an introduction to the opportunity NetClay currently provides. Stay tuned for more updates as NetClay continues to grow and improve. Hi, my name is Omar. I'm a graphic designer, graduate from BCIT, and I use NetClay. Not just as a designer, but also as a millennial, I'm trying to catch up with technology. Imagine doing that with the high level of disability. Net Clay pretty much helped me up to control my computer. How many people you know using their mouse by moving their heads? The cool thing about Net Clay is you can mold it based on your need. Like I use different devices with it. So some people in my situation, especially uh, spinal cord injuries, they always try to find adaptable technology. And having Net Clay on the table, it's, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. Hi, I'm Tim Lewis. I'm a disability rights advocate, but I use that clay. I get a lot of emails, maybe a hundred in a day. Net clay allows me to be productive if I don't have anybody available to keyboard and mouse for me at any point during the day. I get set up with that clay and I can go through all of my inbox. I can open up and read it and delete all my email that I don't need to keep. Netflix makes me independent and productive during those times.